Hello, this is Danielle with Next Generation Gym Owners, where we are connecting people and profits. And I'm here with your weekly tip. Today, I am gonna give you three ways to maintain your recreational class basis over the summer. Tip number one, don't wait until summer to focus on building your program. You need to be building your rec program in the spring months as well. Then you can maintain them throughout the summer. So for us, we really try to build up our base in April and May because we know that after Memorial Day, it's gonna die down just a little bit. So continue doing your ads even in the months that you know it's gonna be slow. It's gonna cost a little bit more to get kids in the door for those trial memberships, but you're still gonna be able to maintain your numbers. As kids um, disenroll for the summer, you're gonna have a whole new batch of kids who are coming in who maybe have more time in the summer and are able to take classes. So don't give up on that marketing just because you know it's gonna be a slow season. Number two, reconsider your makeup class policy if you don't currently offer them. It is so tough as a gym owner to be able to offer makeup classes, but it is the one thing that I think really sets us aside from other programs. We are able to offer makeup classes that um, for any reason at any time, if you have missed the class, you don't even have to tell us in advance, you are eligible for a makeup class. Parents are looking for flexibility. When they do other sports, when they go to um, soccer or softball, if they do it through a parks and rec or community center, they never actually have to let you know if they're gonna be missing. Um, and they don't get that opportunity to make it up if they've missed a team practice. However, for our recreational kids, if you can leave two extra slots in some of those classes, or you just know I'm not gonna have 100% attendance in this tumbling class because it's summer and I never have 100% attendance, then you can offer makeup classes. Most of your class management software options will actually allow you to schedule that makeup class as well. Um, we do it through Jackrabbit and it's really easy to just schedule a makeup class or to show that when an athlete is absent, they are eligible for a makeup class. Number three, I don't know if you guys get this, but we get asked to do a lot of community performances in the spring and summer. Take advantage of those opportunities, even if it means you are bringing a youth stunt group um, who has level one experience only, and they're gonna stunt on a panel mat and do a couple of cartwheels. Um, take advantage of those opportunities because that's your chance to get some new kids in the door. I know there's a festival near us that has a talent show, and when we have kids who are in it, um, we offer to do private lessons to get them ready for the talent show, and then we ask them to wear their twisters clothes. So take advantage of every opportunity in the spring and summer for community festivals, community performances, anything that you can partner um, with a fair or anything like that, a nonprofit. Um, take advantage of all those opportunities so that you can try to get new kids in the door who will actually start their classes in the summer. Thank you for joining me for this week's weekly tip. Um, for so much more, I hope you'll join us at one of our summer conferences. We have seven locations and we are gonna be in a city near you. There is gonna be so much information that you don't wanna miss. It's a perfect way to kick off the 2020-2021 season and make sure you are increasing your revenue, having healthy budgets and hiring a great staff. Follow the link below or go to nextgenowners.com. Stay tuned for next week's weekly tip.